This is Danny with Quad Lugs, and today I wanted to show you a motor that I've just come across, and it's a uh, it's made by um, uh, ZTW, and they make some really great ESCs. But it's a 2204, 2300 uh, kV, and it comes in clockwise and counterclockwise. And I'm using it for the 250. Um, and the motor is actually called a Black Widow motor. But uh, the neat thing about this is that it has the ESC made into it. Really nice, especially if you're looking for space. Now, I understand that, you know, if you have a problem with the ESC, but then, you know, the ESC and motor, I don't think they make just ESC right now that you can switch it out. I'm not aware of that yet, um, as of yet, rather. But uh, they're available at Buddy RC and, uh, we're going to have them on our site pretty soon also. We're going to be handling them. Um, if you go to Buddy RC and you purchase some of these, leave a little note saying that you heard about it from us. Uh, I'd appreciate that. But, uh, you know, I just got them installed and uh, I've had uh, I have about a day and a half of flying on it now. Probably about 12 packs through. Um, and. Uh, they're running great. It's, uh, you know, we're north of Dallas, Texas here, and, uh, you know, it's still in the 92, 93 degree range. And uh, even flying them at uh, the heat of the day, the motors aren't getting hot. The ESCs, you know, you feel them underneath, they're, they're not hot. It's, it's really, really working well. It's, a, it's real easy to put together, I mean, uh, to install. And on our little 250, and these, this 250 uh, here is with our prototype parts. We are, uh, uh, the molds have been started, uh, so we'll have production parts ho hopefully within two months. And at that time, we'll not only have the quad configuration, but we'll have the tri at the same time also. So we'll have the, uh, you know, the mini 250 quad and tri at that time. But, I, you know, I uh, put an X mount on the back, and uh, uh, it's, it has, uh, you'll just have to watch your screw length whenever you do put these on. It has a little metal plate in the back here where you put the screws in. So if you're putting them in and, you know, they're going in fairly easy where you can tell if they're starting to hit that, you know, they'll bind up on you. So you'll know, you know, at that point that, you know, uh, uh, the screws are too long. But, you know, I would pay uh, close attention to that so you don't get into the ESC because the ESC is right here, um, right where you're putting the screws in. When the screws go in, they have that protection plate there, but uh, right underneath that or on top of that is going to be your ESC. So just take care of that to get the screws in without, you know, damaging anything or getting into the ESC and, you know, that'll work fine. Um, let me show you a little bit what I did. Also, I instead of using, um, you know, for my uh, a BIC and uh, a power distribution um, setup, I or board rather, or you know, solder them together. I went ahead and I'm using the Speedex. Let me show it to you very inexpensive works really really well saves a lot of space and you know I'm always after something that's easy to, to install works well and uh, you know give you some longevity but this is the speedex system that I mean you know uh, power distribution that I'm using it handle up to a hex uh, you know it's three on each side that you can plug into but the wiring on our 250 the supplied wiring on the motor is long enough this is how it comes out and I just put a, a you know two millimeter uh, bullet on or a two millimeter you know connector on and um, just plug them in and um, it comes with the Dean's already installed the, P, uh, the speed X and it also gives you five volt out here and a 12 volt battery out, or if you're using a 4S battery, a 12 volt and a 5 volt out on the 12, on a 4S uh, pack. Super, super easy to install.
takes very little room and works very, very good. So I'd really recommend this too. Buddy RC has these also, and we're going to have these on our site pretty soon too. But if you're, uh, you know, using an Opto uh, uh, ESCs, this is a real good setup, and I've been using this quite a bit, and it works really, really well. Now, when I don't, I use a four-in-one, and you know, I took this one off of uh, off of this uh, mini to put this on to try it out, but. Uh, you know that's what I normally use there. Real easy setup. Takes just a few minutes to, to get them installed, and um, they they're working really really well. I'm gonna have some flight uh, footage coming up uh, in the next video uh, of it, and um, you know I'll let you know as I test it out how how it does. But I'll tell you what, so far absolutely great it's uh it's working very very good and like i said if you run if you have a space con uh, constriction or if you just don't want to mess with uh putting in separate escs which i'm all for i like it simple <laughs> this is a great great alternate motor to use the motors are, are really powerful um, uh, there's no um, problem with the uh, or no lacking of power with it and you know I can show some of that to you uh, whenever I run the videos on it uh, some flight videos to show you um, they're really good I think you're gonna like them give it a try um, or you know just stay tuned here and you know I'll show you some more footage of this thing flying and uh, give you a little bit more insight on the motors but so far, they're working very, very good. Uh, really neat that the ESC is in there. Um, it, it works really, really well. Super easy to do. Um, and uh, I think you'll like it. Give it a try, and we'll have some more uh, to show you about it. But uh, again, it's at Buddy RC, and it'll be on our site pretty soon. Right now, uh, they have the uh, 2204, 2300 kV, and from there they jump up to 3508 and 41. I forget exactly what it is, but uh, you know there's nothing in between so far. Uh, so I'll be checking up on that, and I'll keep you informed when I find out about that. Or you can shoot a line over to Buddy RC when you go over their site and take a look at these. Uh, but uh, great motor, works really, really good. Um, I think you're gonna like it. It's it's a nice alternative, and uh, I mean it's getting to where the the space requirements on one of these is getting less and less. It's really really amazing how it's uh, progressing. Again, this is Danny with Quad Legs, and I just wanted to uh, mention these motors, and we'll have you know a little bit more on it as I have some more flight time on it. But I, I, I'm telling you that they're they're good motors so far, um, and. Uh, Please keep an eye out. We have a lot of new stuff coming up and uh, a lot of really neat things. We'll check you later.